Hey guys, so welcome to this our next video in our PySpark tutorial series. In today's video, we'll be uh, looking at how to read parquet files uh, into data frame into data frames using uh, PySpark and Databricks. So let's dive right into it. So we've got a, a Databricks Community Edition uh, environment set up. Uh, I have a video guide to setting that up. It will be linked in the top right corner of the screen. So the first thing we need to do is basically just to upload the parquet files that we're going to be working with into the DBFS. So yeah, what, what you can do is you can just go into data, go to the DBFS, create a folder and uh, upload your parquet files. I've got another video about uploading files from your local system into Databricks and you can check it out in the link in the top right corner of the screen. So I've got three parquet files here, user data one two and three dot parquet so this is the data that we're going to be working with now we're going to be looking at how to load it into a data frame so let's go to our workspace and we've got a we've got a notebook created called parquet so let's first look at the old method or the first method of reading uh, parquet files into data frames and we use spark dot read dot format data frame one equals to so we'll save the data frame into a variable but yeah spark dot read dot format then we specify the format uh, within parentheses and double quotes in this case it's parquet and then we can do a dot load and then we can specify the file path so the file path in this case is go to the file store and go to the file that we want to load. We'll use user data one dot parquet in this situation. Copy path, and we copy the Spark API format. Copied. We can just paste that here and run it. So that looks like it's completed. Now we can just display it to see that everything is working. Alright, so everything seems to be working. We've got our files uploaded in this situation and we've created a data frame from the parquet file. So next we'll show you the, uh, the second method or the method that I would prefer that you use, which is we can just name the data frame, data frame 2 or df2 and then we do spark dot read dot parquet directly and then within uh, sort of semi uh, within uh, parentheses and double quotes we can specify the file path you don't have to do a dot format and then a dot load we just do a dot parquet and specify the file path and we do this again and that's done as well so now we've got df2 so we can just display that and see that we get the same output And again, uh, as I told you in the last video, when we're looking at JSON files, you can just put in whatever commands you're using inside the help uh, function. And when you run it, you'll get all the function, you'll get all the methods that are available to you. So we've got some options here, and we've got other parameters, path parameters, and stuff. So you can, for most more advanced stuff, you can look at that. So now we're going to be looking at how to read multiple parquet files in a folder into a single data frame. All right. So when I go to my data right now, go to the DBFS and inside my file store, I've got a parquet folder, which has three parquet files. And the way that parquet files works in some situations is that the data is partitioned. It's you, it's, it belongs to the same table of data. Syn uh, semantically or syntactically and but it's usually split into multiple individual files so if you want to read all of them into one big data frame so that we can work on it collectively using a big data framework like uh, databricks and spark uh, this is the way to do it so what we can do is we just do similar to we call it data frame 3 similar to reading uh, spark like we did earlier with just a single file 
we can do data frame 3 equals to spark.read.parquet okay. and the only difference is when we specify the file path right so earlier we specified like this it like this where we specify the file name folder and then the file name dot parquet but in this situation what we want to do is we remove the file name and just we just leave an asterisk dot parquet and that gets all the file names in the folder that are of the parquet type because the asterisk is like a wildcard operator in SQL it just gets all the parquet files if you know that in a folder there are only parquet files then you can just uh, sort of remove this and run it it will collect all the parquet files but if there are other there are csv files and other stuff as well and you just want the parquet files you can do an asterisk dot parquet so let's run this and actually before we run this just to sort of confirm with you guys actually yeah. Uh, let's look at data frame 2 just to show you how many uh, rows of data there were in the earlier oh sorry yes yeah, so there are about a hundred each of those user data files as you had seen which were user data 1, 2 and 3 they each had a, had a thousand rows of data so what should happen when I read the three of these collectively into a new data frame is that this new data frame should have 3000 rows of data so let's see if we can get that to work so it looks like it's completed now we can do a display df3 so yeah we've got the the collective data frame and now just to confirm that we have 3000 rows of data we can do a print df3 dot count all right guys so that's how we load uh, multiple parquet files in a folder into a single data frame so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and i'll see you in the next one